guys welcome back to the channel it's been a good minute since i did a video um i had a day off today so i figured i would do one kind of update you guys on what i've been reading what i've been doing lately uh yesterday was halloween and i took out my son he was a blue lego and um i was daredevil i had one of those sweaters that you put on and you put the hood on and it's a it's a daredevil mask so that was pretty cool um anyways speaking of daredevil the only um, book that I've gotten lately is the epic collection, The Widow's Kiss. This is by uh, Gene Colan and um, Scott Lobdell and Joe Kelly. This is uh, mid-90s Daredevil. Um, definitely 90s art, as you can see. Um, this is before Guardian Devil. I think like, right before Guardian Devil with Kevin Smith. Where, you know, so, you know, I know it's not... The best reviewed did all the stuff is the Deadpool action in here. Um, but my goal, if you don't know me, um, is to collect every Daredevil ever. So if you see back here, I mean, not really a good view over here. It's all my Daredevil stuff. From here on, it's all Daredevil. I have over like 24 Daredevil uh, volumes. So here, this is this another um, add to my collection. I think there's like five more epics to get and I'll have a good chunk. I have, you know, all the big runs and then I'll give this the epics and I'll have a, like maybe like almost 30 books of Daredevil when I'm done. So he's my favorite hero. So got that. Anyways, on to what I've been reading. Um, I've been trying to get in the manga, manga, mangoes lately and I went to Barnes Noble to do the buy to get one free, right? And didn't have any Kondansha or Kodansha, um, that, that was the name of the publisher that was about to get one free, um, books that I wanted. Um, like they had Attack on Titan, but they, you know, I haven't begun it yet, so they didn't have the first few volumes. They had Vinland Saga, I already had the first volume, they didn't have the other two. So like, you know, to get a buy to get one free wasn't the best deal. So what I did was start the long long journey of one piece <laughs> and i got the three ones of volume one two and three and volume say that good uh four five and six one piece if you don't know is probably the post the post the most popular manga out there um i saw a video that it was um now like probably the third top selling like graphic novel type book ever after Batman and Superman in sales even have like own their own stores like in Ch Jap in Japan that just de dedicated to One Piece um yeah man manga is great um I'm I'm happy I got into it I'm happy that I've I've taken the plunge One Piece is definitely a great swashbuckling story kind of like a pirate story with superpowers you know Monkey D. Luffy has eaten the gummy fruit and he is a and again, he and he's a rubber man. He's basically Mr. Fantastic, and he and his um, and what he wants to do is become the best pirate in the world. And this story is about him uh, getting his crew together, and fun hijink and hijinks ensue. And it's it's a great story, man. Like if if you you're not, you know, are you so you don't want to dip your toes in a manga? I say. Take the plunge. It's great stuff. You're missing out on some stories. Like, I had Death Note already. I love Death Note. Death Note is definitely a good, like, beginner's manga. Jump into Death Note. You'll, you won't regret it. But One Piece is great. The only problem is it's on, like, volume 88 or something. So, you know, I, I have a long way to go if I want to read this whole entire story. But I just wanted to get a little, um... I wanted to get a little taste of the story. I want to see why it was so popular. And I loved it. So I'll be, I will definitely be continuing... Maybe eventually get the box sets or something. I don't know, but... <sighs> Alright, next up. I just started reading this today. I've had it for a while. Uh, Vinland Saga. Keeping with the manga. Um, Vinland Saga is a story of Vikings. And it is great, amazing, amazing stuff, man. I'm not even halfway through this <laughs> first volume. And I'm loving it. It's the story of a kid named Thorfinn. Who's, um... Well, I mean, I don't know exactly what happened, but I believe his family was attacked by, by Vikings. And by, led by this Viking named um, Askeladd. And they take 
his um they they basically like ruin his whole family and they take him hostage, and something happens to his dad and he's out for revenge, but he's also prideful and wants to be wants to be able to avenge his family, um, like the his own way. And it's it basically it's a coming away coming of age story of this guy Thorfinn, and it's really really great art, man. It's amazing amazing stuff so far, and I hear I hear it's really good. I mean, I'm just, for me to love it this much and not even be halfway done, just telling you something. Um, like, look at the, the detail. You can see it in, like, the black and white of the waves. And just, it's just really good art. And the story is great so far. Thorfinn is a badass. And I, I hear he gets even more badass. So that's cool. Um, I'm definitely excited to keep reading this. Um, I'm definitely going to keep going. It's a good deal, man. It's $20 for this thick hardcover. And on Amazon, I think I got it for like 12 bucks, and I'm sure you can find it on Right Stuff or, or um, in stock trades for you know, similar, even less maybe. But it's a good deal for how much it is, and it's a good story so far, and I hear it's one of the best animes, I mean, mangas out there. So I'm excited for that. Um, come my book, bookmark. L from Death Note. I found this at each bookstore. Uh, anyways, so yeah, that's what I'm reading right now. Good stuff. Um... Before that, I had um, been reading this for, for a few months or so. I mean, I know it shouldn't take that long, but I wanted to savor the story. So I kind of read it in pieces. Like, I read this New Titans, by, by the way, volume three. The beginning is the Judas Contract, the most popular, most famous, let me get this off, most famous uh, Teen Titans story there is, where with uh, Tara is um, on Titan, or Tara, and she kind of turns on them, and she's been working with Deathstroke for the whole time. Really, really, really great art by George Perez. Really, really great stories. Really emotional. Um, the end of the Judas contract is very emotional and very well done. Some of the best comics I've ever read in my life. So I definitely, definitely, if you're a teen, um, suggest if you're a Teen Titans fan, pick up the three omnibuses that are out there. New Teen Titans by Marv Wolfman and George Perez. Great, great stuff. Um, once the um, once the Jewish contact is over, we get into the, um, the wedding of Don Troy and the really bearded guy, I forgot his name, <laughs> that guy. Um, and, you know, it takes a little break to get into the wedding. But when it gets um, back into it, with the Deathstroke tr uh, trial, there's a really good Beast Boy story. Um, where Beast Boy is upset at, um, at Deathstroke and wants him, and, you know, Deathstroke gets off. You know, for whatever he gets off for, you know, it's not the, you know, he, he's done so many crimes. And Beast Boy goes after him and tries to kill him. And those issues with Beast Boy and Slade are, like, some of the best character-building issues I've ever seen in my life. I mean, Beast Boy is known as this, you know, like, joke comedic character. But the, this book made him, you know, his character development really good. Like, here you see him going after... Going after Slade, becoming a hawk, trying to kill him, you know, blaming him for Tara's death, blaming him for, you know, getting free and all of his pain. But what eventually happens is um, he realizes what goes wrong. He realizes he's not a killer. You know, it's a really good moment. And he um, he sits down with Slade and, you know, he, you kind of see him become a man by talking to Slade at the same time. And it's a really good moment in comics that you get. You know, when you when you see, when you follow a story for that long and the payoff is that well, it was, it was really good. Um, going on towards the end of the book, it's a uh, really really cool um, scene where um, Raven, my favorite Titan, I'm sure everyone, a lot of people, other, a lot of people's favorite Titan, um, her father Trigon comes back and takes over Raven's body, and and basically comes here's. Mr. Trigon, and he comes to Earth, and and him and Raven are intent on taking over the you know the world. It's a really 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 epic battle. Um, here you can see Raven gets her dad's face, and it's just some of some really good epic storytelling that I feel like I don't get a lot of in modern comics. Some, some scary stuff right there. I hope I hope hope hope. That the Titans um, movie on I mean movie show on the DCU universe 
is going this way. Because you see in the third episode, if you're up to date, um, Raven is, you know, they're starting to realize that she's just, you know, basically the daughter of Satan, Trigon. And when they can take her to the church and they, they, they board her off, um, it feels like they're going that way. I mean, I don't know if they have the CGI or, you know, to get this cool of a, of a story going on. But it feels they're going that way, and I hope they do. So, yeah. New Teen Titans, Volume 3. Great stuff. You definitely should read it if you're a Teen Titans fan. Um, other than that, um, I watched Dead Level Season 3 um, in like two or three days with my fiance. Um, great, amazing stuff. Dead Level is my favorite character, like I said earlier. Um, obviously, it was based on Born Again with uh, Sister Maggie, his mom. Um, but of course he finds out that he's, uh, he's Matt Murdock in a different way. And also, um, it was also based on Guardian Devil. I forget what, what, um, I think it's episode 10, if you guys remember it. There's a scene at the end of episode 10 where it's completely reversed from what happens in this book. Um, she's holding Daredevil, you know, it's a Daredevil holding her. And it was really cool because it's like, I, I remember like after watching the episode, I like, went directly to this book, and I told my fiance, I was like, look, they took it directly from the comic. And it was, you know, it was such a good book, such a, such a good story, I mean, season. If you are a Daredevil fan, if you're a comic book fan, definitely watch the Daredevil seasons. I mean, get to season three. Season three was great. I believe it's an Emmy worthy, but you know, I may just be biased because Daredevil, Daredevil is my favorite character. So, who knows? Um, anyways, um, sorry I haven't had any video in a while. Been a little busy, been working a lot lately. Um, I'm definitely, I, you know, I want to keep up with the channel. Just, you know, if there's ever long breaks from the channel, I will maybe be making videos again eventually. I always will. I, I love doing these videos. Um, collecting goals. Um, I want to collect the rest of Daredevil, like I said earlier. I, my goal is always to have the, is to have all of what is in print of Daredevil stories collected in some way or some form. A whole shelf of Daredevil would be great. I want to collect the rest of Villain Saga because I'm loving it so far and I know I'm going to love it. Um, other than that, manga wise, I want to. Um, there's a lot of long. Uh, a lot of um, long collected volumes, like or long st running stories, I guess, what I say, it, that I want to get. Like Berserk, One Piece, Naruto, Bleach. Because Tokyo Ghoul is probably shorter. Maybe it's just focus on that one because it's shorter. But I'm thinking of maybe when I get a, um, you know, when I get some money, I might get a box set of one of the, one of those, you know, we'll see. But you know, I'm not, I'm not collecting right now. I'm gonna wait until I, you know, maybe get tax turn and see if I can like get myself a present or so. But right now, I gotta focus on my kid's birthday's coming up. He's gonna turn five. Um, so get get ready to throw him something, maybe a little party, maybe something. That should be fun. Um, yeah. So that's the update on my life. Um, if you guys miss me or not, I don't know. I just figure some people watch the channel wondering where I was. Um, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully there'll be a video soon. Hope you guys enjoy the content. Hope you have a good day. Peace out.